The BDO1 system is primarily used for the power supply to low current loads in industry and trade. The feeder unit is delivered with two end flanges. The snap-in mechanism is opened and one end flange is inserted. It is secured when the snap-in mechanism is closed. The snap-in mechanism at the opposite side is opened. This is necessary as the feeder unit is connected through a flange to the trunking unit. A maintenance-free electrical and mechanical connection is established with four screws only. The feeder unit can now be closed. The cover of the last trunking unit in the bus bar is opened. The clamp terminal is removed. The last trunking unit of the bus bar is now equipped with the second end flange. The clamp terminal is replaced on the trunking unit and secured as a connector. The BDO1 bus bar trunking system includes a flexible junction unit. To install it, remove the clamp terminal from the trunking unit. The flexible junction unit can now be inserted and screwed to the removed clamp terminal. The first step in the wall installation of the BDO1 system is the mounting of the fixing brackets. This is how the flexible junction is attached. Open the clamp terminal between the junction unit and the trunking unit and remove the clamp terminal. Now position the second trunking unit and reinsert the clamp terminal which can now be closed again with four screws. The installation is continued by closing the other fixing brackets. The BDO1 bus bar system is now mounted on the wall. In order to mount a tap off unit to the system, it must be opened first. Subsequently, remove the fixing brackets on the front. The tap-off unit can now be slid onto the bus bar. To secure it to the trunking unit, close the snap-on mechanisms. Close the lid and secure it with two screws. The BDO1 bus bar trunking system is an extremely versatile solution as a wide range of different tap-off units can be connected to it.